current rate has Florida on track to return to pre surge levels as soon as October. As Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders explains, medical experts will not be letting down their guard. That more infectious Delta variant surged Florida's hospitalizations to more than 17,000 in late August. That's a near 70% increase over 2020's record. But the burden is finally easing for many. COVID hospitalizations continue to sink in Florida, now down about 25% in seven days and about 63% from the August peak. Yes, things are getting better at the hospital level and at the community level. Miami cardiologist Bernard Ashby saying it's good news after a stressful summer. Some patients were packed into open spaces like cafeterias or gyms, staffing thin and working overtime to save lives. Ashby saying the surge was a surprise for many physicians, expecting more embrace of vaccination. This summer hit us like a freight train, and so we all have collective PTSD, and as a result, I don't think anyone is uh, breathing a, a breath of fresh air. Florida's Hospital Association with a similar message, the surge ending, but not the health industry's readiness. One of the biggest lessons learned uh, we have to anticipate that this could occur again. President Mary Mayhew says facilities now looking at ways to boost staffing, better maximize capacity, and perhaps most importantly, pushing harder for vaccination. That's our greatest defense against a future surge. And at the state level, Florida's governor continues promoting monoclonal therapies and feuding with the White House over new supply caps. Biden, he loves talking about Florida. He hates Florida more than anything. But Dr. Ashby is urging more, saying the treatments aren't enough to fight future waves. A broad plan of action, he says, is needed before anyone can relax. All bets are off when it comes to this pandemic. DeSantis has vehemently defended his record on the virus, saying he prioritized senior vaccination and protected individual choice. Facing re-election next year, he is so confident on his COVID record, he's urging his opponents to challenge him on the topic. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.